Hello and welcome to today's video introduction to using Firewall D on Oracle Linux. This video aims to provide a quick overview of Firewall D and examples using the more common Firewall-Command options. So let us get started. A firewall serves as the computer equivalent of a physical wall, gate, or fence to keep intruders out and protect what's inside. In Oracle Linux 8, NF tables replaced IP tables and Firewall D interacts with NF tables directly through the NFT binary. Firewall D is not a firewall replacement, but a wrapper for NF tables and other backends to allow easier management. To view the configured interaction between Firewall D and NF tables, open a terminal to your host system. In the following exercises, we use a fully patched Oracle Linux instance on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Type the command sudo space cat space forward slash etsy forward slash firewall d forward slash firewall d dot conf. In the output, look for the line firewall backend and see firewall d configured to use NF tables as the backend firewall by default. Next, confirm the firewall d service is installed, enabled, and running. Use the command sudo space dash capital E space dnf space list space dash dash installed space firewall D to show the installed firewall D package. Oracle Linux installs the firewall D package by default on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. After confirming the package installation, type sudo space systemctl space status space firewall D to check the services state. The service shows loaded and enabled. The service also shows active, which indicates a currently running state. With Firewall D installed and running, we can start to gather some information about the system firewall configuration. Start by getting a list of firewall-cmd options by typing sudo space firewall-cmd space dash dash help space pipe space head space dash n space 20. The head space dash n space 20 limits the help output to only the first 20 lines. You can also use more to allow paging through the help screens. Next, use firewall-cmd to display the state of the firewall. Type sudo space firewall-cmd space dash dash state, which displays the result of running. Next, type sudo space firewall-cmd space dash dash list dash all dash zones. The zones are pre-constructed rule sets for various trust levels. Examples include home, public, work, trusted, and several others. Administrators can also apply zones to different network interfaces such as internal and external or internet. To show the default zone, type sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash get dash default dash zone. To get the default zones configuration, type sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash list dash all. The configuration shows the public zone set to active and used by the ENS3 network interface. By default, the firewall blocks all traffic and allows traffic based on predefined rules for specific network services. The default services available are shown by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash get dash services. These default services have configuration files located at sudo space ls space dash l space forward slash user forward slash lib forward slash firewall d forward slash services. Users can create custom services and place configuration files at forward slash etsy forward slash firewall d forward slash services. To see a list of services enabled on the firewall, type sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash list dash services. To enable direct access to the cockpit service, type sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash add dash service equals cockpit. Running sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash list dash services again now shows the cockpit service successfully added. Note that this change only impacts the runtime firewall configuration. Changes that only impact the runtime firewall configuration is lost when the firewall d process restarts or the system reboots. 
to make the service addition of cockpit permanent, type sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash add dash service equals cockpit space dash dash permanent. Reverse this action and remove the service by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash remove dash service equals cockpit space dash dash permanent and sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash remove dash service equals cockpit. To ensure this change impacts both the runtime and permanent configuration, run the command with and without the dash dash permanent option. Ensure the changes take effect by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash list dash services. The cockpit service is no longer displayed. Besides adding and removing services, firewall dash cmd also allows or denies arbitrary ports or protocols. You can test this by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash add dash port equals 1313 forward slash tcp. Confirm the change by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash list dash ports. Revoke this change by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash zone equals public space dash dash remove dash port equals 1313 forward slash tcp. If your firewall setup stops working or you wish to revert all of your changes, run a simple sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash reload command or firewall service restart will reapply the permanent working configuration. Once your new firewall setup is complete and working as needed, you can promote the runtime configuration to permanent by typing sudo space firewall dash cmd space dash dash runtime dash to dash permanent, which saves it to disk. Note that reversing this action is not easy, so use it with caution and make sure your runtime configuration works as needed. Lastly, firewall dash cmd allows port forwarding, masquerading, rich rules, and direct interface to NF tables. That completes this presentation and introduction to using Firewall D. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy using Oracle Linux.